Hey, Jeff, 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 Jeff. Calm down. Calm we're, down. Calm we're, down. We're, we're, at the Z, we're at the Z Man booth. We're looking for it. it. You know what we're looking for? What, what are we looking it? for? What are we looking for? Okay. It's not on this wall. It's not on this wall. Wait. 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 We're close. We're close. I found it. I found it. <laughs> and it's like half empty. And it's like half empty. It's, it's, half empty. it's just the way it always should be. <laughs> Almost empty. Oh, oh dude. I didn't know they had these. Yeah, those are sweet. Oh, smokes. Crusties. Uh, that fighter right here is just looking for stuff. Just oh, very, very stuff back. How's it going, man? stay on stuff, can I just say? I'm doing my best. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. My fault. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, man. Nice meet you, man. Solid. Solid recommendation. <laughs> Look at the super finesse. Whoa. OG mushroom shrooms. Whoa. That's where you get the shorter shank. Yeah, we I like was wondering. that. That's the, so it is the OG. The OG has a short shank. Look at that. Look at that color. Yeah. That'll do right. it. And you know we love these. You know we love the, neg the Nedlock. You know we love the Nedlock and the, the chartreuse. And the black. You know we love that. Now these are... That's what I want to ask this? about. Oh, the, the, the There's our moving bar. head. The moving head. The finesse eye. Moving head. There Make it, it is. spinner. There it is. The real spinner. Love that. Oh, dude. 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 Yeah. What? That's money. We got a known break. for hitting that copper truce, man. That's the, uh, we, we talk about Finesse it on the daily. The That's what you like, man. huh? Oh, yeah. dude. It's, well, we're from Michigan. Okay. So we have a fish it works in Michigan really area. well up there. It yeah. smacks them. And it doesn't matter, large or small. Uh, the river, though, yeah. is, is that, deadly. That and the mood ring color. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. You know, I've never thrown the mood ring color. No? I don't think. No, I have a bunch of them, but I just yeah. never thrown it. But there's like 18 colors. It's, Kind of hard to try a new Sorry. color every time you go up. Yeah, what do we do? We got mood ring, copper truce is like the jam. We call it the sharp deuce. The sharp deuce. <laughs> we're trying to keep that one on the wraps. You know, we're yeah. gonna we're gonna trade that one. <laughs> yeah. Dude, we we have a whole uh, YouTube membership level that's called the sharp deuce. Uh, really? Sharp, sharp deuce, deuce nation. nation. <laughs> really? Yeah. No joke. That's awesome. Yeah. No joke. Uh, but that's how much we love that color. You guys, we're at the Z-Man booth, and we're gonna have Luke do a breakdown of the new stuff dropping this year from Z-Man. So yeah, hit us with it, man. What you got? Yeah, yeah. So we got four new strictly bass baits and a couple saltwater crossover baits that I honestly haven't used the Hercules. Uh, four to five inch swim bait, three eighths and five eighths ounce of a pre-rig swim bait with elastic. So super durable. Honestly, the first time I saw them was yesterday. So I don't know much <laughs> about them. They look pretty cool, but uh, oh, these are pre-rig though. Indestructible it's a pre-rig. Pre and this yeah. is a Z-Man plastic. So like, you're talking elastic. about good luck killing it. Right. <laughs> you're going to break it off before you ruin the bait. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So really good action. Really soft that Z-Man, but you can tell super durable. You're not going to tear the bait up. Uh, again, I wish I knew more about them. I'll definitely be trying to sneak some out of the show here and take home with me. <laughs> That's like seven diesel minnows glued together. I think so. <laughs> seven diesel minnows. Just check it out. I'm not going to keep trying. Oh, no, I love it. I'll get you up close the right there. There's your diesel minnow. There's one for Jeff. And like nice. I said, good luck yeah. killing it. Yeah, yeah you're happen. not going to wreck yeah, it. It's, it's a pretty sure. cool deal. And it's got a giant hook in it. I mean, you can fish out a pretty heavy Holy equipment. Shit, too, I didn't even. That's yeah. like, I'll hook that up to my truck and we could just yeah, go ahead and might be yeah. take my trailer. Seven oh my it's uh, crazy. Seven up, yeah. And there's seven a smaller up. size right there. Yeah. Still still got the Mustad and a giant one at that. This, yeah. this I would rock. It's too big for you? It's true. <laughs> 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 I called you out, bro. Get out. I'll finish the interview. Yeah. All right, uh, so about Ned Rings Jeff's time. done. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, <laughs> Upsize, bro. Upsize, bro. All right, so we should probably right. talk about this one next. Oh day. yeah, there you go. Yep. This is the BBC Big Bladed Chatterbait by Brian Thrift. He uh, he started throwing this like three years ago. I ran with Brian fishing tournaments, so I've known about this bait for a long time. Z-Man finally came out with it. I've been fortunate enough to have him for a couple years, and I mean this thing will run your hand numb. It vibrates incredibly hard. Moves a lot of water. That's Honestly, awesome. if you pick up a jackhammer after throwing this, it feels like a swim jig. Oh, it's hard to notice the wow. vibration. I mean, this thing's just rocking you the whole time. It moves yeah. a lot of water. It gets a lot of bites, and when the water's cold or really muddy, it's a six shot mustad hook in it. So big old hook, and it's got a double barb keeper, whatever kind of plastic you want to put on there. Hand tight skirt. They come in. Uh, oh, magic words, hand tight skirt. That's we it love for you. That. I don't know if it's skirt or hand tight. Yes, even. for sure. Uh, <laughs> it was. Uh, I think there's yes. like a dozen colors, half five eighths yeah. and three quarters, I believe. Wow. So I think we got toothy critters on lock for the next couple of years. Yep. Yeah, they're gonna like that thing. Uh, and then there is the Chatterbait Mini Max. This one's for Jeff. Yes. Right, this is right up your alley. Uh, <laughs> is a quarter, three eighths and a half, hand tied skirt again, double barb keeper. A lot of the same attributes as the BBC has. It's a two watt heavy wire hook though, and a smaller blade. 
I actually caught a bunch of fish at the St. Lawrence last week on this in a half ounce. I was just uh, about to say. Green pumpkin one. That half ounce, you can wind it along in like eight, nine feet of water. It really gets down. Wow. I throw a little sw slim swims on there, a little Z-Man minnow on yeah. the back of it, cut the skirt down. It's a small package, and you can't get the thing to blow out. You can burn this thing as fast as you want. It doesn't blow out. So, nice. yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm excited about those. I have like six of them, and I'm wishing I had more. I'm probably going to be raiding that wall at the end of the show. <laughs> yeah. to, they're yeah. tearing it down like, where's that box of yeah. the little guys going? They don't have very many either, but they're going to have less after tomorrow. <laughs> uh, so those are pretty cool, both those chatter baits. This, yep. Really, the BBC is more of a springtime bait, honestly. Yep. Um, that's going to be something you want to have by spring. But right now, this small stuff in the fall, uh, that's a pretty cool deal for smallmouth spots and even largemouth. That small stuff really seems to catch them in summer and the fall. Uh, the Helicross is one Mark Daniels Jr. designed. It, yep. it just kicks, it moves a lot of water, great flipping bait, uh, swim jig trailer. Um, I've been using them since the spring and caught a lot of fish on them in both those situations. There's guys Carolina rigging them, doing all kinds of stuff with them. They'll Still, float. Yeah, yeah, elastics, they float. It's kind of a cool bed bait because these legs, because they're flat, elastic always moves in the water with nothing, but it's almost like they're waving at you. It's, uh, they really, Saw you can know, get out in the tank when we're done here oh, yeah. to watch it. Yep. You can now see how much they the float just right there, just straight up and down. And, uh, yeah. That right there, any kind of movement, those things start waving. They're a really yeah. cool bed bait. They look good on a football head or anything. And the last thing is the Turbo Fatty. So I just saw these. I was like, this is literally going to just live on top. Ridiculous. It's crazy. So, yeah, you would think it's got an assault in it. With the 3 16 or heavier, you can swim it pretty well under the surface. But on the surface, it definitely is like a speed style worm, really buzzing action tail. Uh, durability of the Z-Man stuff, but that tail never gets distorted, never rips. You know, a lot of worms like that have a cut in them. You catch one fish, they jump, it rips your tail. Yep. This here, I've caught probably 20 plus on one bait. Dang. It just, you're never gonna tear that tail up. Gets a lot of bites. It takes a little bit more weight because it is the elastic than the same style worm to keep it down to swim under the surface, but uh, pretty cool bait. Take one and I'll take the other. Pull it apart. Put all your weight into it, see if it falls just down. Just go, just go. See if it falls down. Gonna go? <laughs> I was exactly. gonna keep going. Keep going. Don't stop coming to you. <laughs> I thought Nobody so. saw that coming. I thought so. <laughs> yeah, oh. but that's pretty much all the new stuff we got from Z-Man. Of course, a lot of new colors. There's the fire craw color out in the razor shad, the turbo craw, diesel minnow, and all sizes the goat. So that's one thing that's pretty exciting. Um, other than that, there's a few new colors out, but mostly this is for the new styles of baits, and of course the fire craw stuff, which everybody seems to love. Oh yeah. Man, Luke, good at fishing, but holy smokes for the fish. breakdown. Yeah. What a I guy. Appreciate gosh. it, man. Oh, thank thanks you so much. So much man. It means a ton, really. Thank yeah. you yeah, so much. No problem. Check it out, Z-Man Fishing. If you guys want to look at any more of the baits, Tackle Warehouse is going to have them all by November, I think, the last one. So uh, they're going to slowly trickle in. Of course, supply chain issues are still taking place in the tackle industry, but they're getting them and they're going to be there soon. They'll be there for sp by spring for sure. Awesome. I think what it meant by supply chain issues is he's stealing the wall, and that's half the that's half <laughs> of what they got. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nobody's going to my garage. Right? Yeah. yeah. All right. Thanks, y'all. Right. Thank you so much, Thank sir. You yeah. Thank you so much. Did you did you notice that there's one very important thing? Oh, look at all these new baits, but also this one. Oh wait, which one? Yeah. Wait, what color is that? Uh, oh, that's a little shark juice nation. You know what's funny? Right when I we, didn't even put that in the tank, you guys. Dude, right when we rolled up to the wall, the first thing we noticed we're like looking for we're looking for the copper truce. Yep. It's the only bag that was like half empty. Yep. The only bag that was half empty. It's the one they displayed. <laughs> you know why? Because it's the only color they have. Shark juice nation. Shark juice nation. <laughs> Damages. <laughs> I hold you. Well, hot. Hot. Why didn't you tell me it was hot? There's not enough time in a day. Can you imagine if we were trying to fish right now and do this show? It'd be a disaster. What's up, you guys? We're at the Nico booth at ICAST 2021. And that's the rest of it. There you go. You did the whole thing. Are you dizzy? All right, so here's the wall of Nico Bits. It's one of the most beautiful things I think I've ever seen. Bro, we've been waiting to get, that, get at the whole wall for a long time. What about the freaking colors? Though? Dude, no, this one yes. had not seen. This one had not seen. This, this one this is that a we got. Yeah, this is sick. And this is like uh, an ice slushy. I don't know what that is. <laughs> the blue slushy. Blue. Whoa, 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 what's this called? What is this one? What's that right there? Oh, would that be morning? Uh, morning God. gone. <laughs> All right, do the purple. Oh, yo. I didn't 
did not even know that existed. Check out the flex tail, that's pre-rigged. Oh no. That's absurd. Dude, oh, you know, oh, you already bro. know about that crab. Look at yeah. that. What? It's I do want to get some eclipse colors for the uh, leech. So this is this is all the, these are all the leeches. Leech is so fantastic. This is ten out of ten. Morning dawn. I did not know that this color. Existed. Purple is insane. Purple is insane. The Chewed black bug. is actually very good. I, this is one of my favorites. So this is the fusion of that and everything. Dude, then you got the Nico Craw. The orange tip on this though. I know. That's freaking nuts. Yeah. So Nico Craw, fantastic. The, the wind color is fantastic. The wind on ninety five and like everything and these yeah. glow. They do, yeah. They the we'll show you the tank. We'll get to the black light. We'll show you the tank. They glow. But dude, you got, got the whole gamut. Yep. More of these dogs, more of these dogs. These, these are sweet. Yeah. Is this a shrimp? It's a minnow. Yeah. How do we not get a minnow? Yeah, it's pretty nuts. So we got the minnows in white and clear. And then, what is this called? Clear red flake. Very creative name. <laughs> Very creative. Brown gold flake. <laughs> this is what we need to get for our community. The number, this is the number two piece. We need to see if Scott will give us like one of these. Yeah, this would be good. So they got June bug as well. Oh, they got a June bug in there. Yep. So we need that. That's sweet. We got the pink chartreuse. Dude. Dude. That's sweet. So, also, if you guys haven't seen the tadpole, Look at this thing. Oh, the tail on this is unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. Is this is their Ned. It's called the Super Ned. It's a little thick, but look at this. This is one of our favorites. This is Lunar. Lunar it's like a clear day. white with a blue flake on the inside. And then that one is just a killer. This this fusion color is just awesome. Yeah. It's got everything. And then it keeps going. And we got shrimps. Dude, look at the baby crab. Oh. The baby crab. In everything. That, is, that looks like a kid's pen. Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah, Here's the three inch that we've been yep. fishing. So these are totally hollow. They're totally cool. hollow. There's a hole right here at the top. Yep. But look at this bad dog right here. Six inch. Oh, dude, that is a man size. Yep. But they got every, dude, they have literally they every color. Babies, these are ice season ice, brush. Ice season. Hand fishing even. Yep. Fantastic. These I think are the strips, which I have not There's used. There's the micro finesse. So where is, Look at that. These are yes. straights. Yeah, I, I want to cut the tail absolutely just fantastic. a little bit. And then th these will yeah. absolutely crush an ice season. You got the waxies. Crush. Oh, and then the oh, ultra, man. ultra, ultra. That'd be like yeah. a good trout right there. Then we oh, got yeah, these black. strips, the micro strips. We got scent balls that you can throw into the Zaza worm. Salmon. Ridiculous. Love it. Actually, yep. the, okay, we got to show you these on a jig. Yep. Let's go to the front table. Yeah, so those are absurd. Here's your actual display. Got some stuff actually. Where did the go. jig go? Here it is. Wow, Look at this it. bad boy. That's Purple, insane. green. But what's that? What's that white thing back there? That is your squid. It is this. It is your squid right rigged there. up on a jig. Look at that. Dude, that's just giving you all the body without extending your trailer too much. Oh, sir. You jack some jaws right oh there. Oh my gosh. Love right. that. Let's see this tank. We want to show you guys this. So look at this. This is what they look like under black light. What a complete joke. That's so freaking cool. And like most of their baits do this. That is ridiculous. So you throw some of these in here and it's going to look that way as well. Oh, look at that morning dawn. The morning dawn. Oh, look at this. Where's the one on the drop Sweet. shot? Yeah. That's your drop shot. Look how it's like just going to the surface. That's how buoyant it is. Look at them all standing straight up. Look Dude, we know on that. The window. Completely oh, vertical. Wow. All right, you guys. So that's the Nico Bates. This is a fantastic setup. We talked to Scott a little bit. We're going to talk to him more a little bit later. Uh, super cool guy. Lots of really cool guys here that actually have YouTube channels as well. And you probably see or recognize some of them. The guy I talked to earlier was the Creek Crawler. So go check out his channel as well. He was smacking some smallies with the Helgramite and the Leech. Uh, needless to say, these are great baits. Ultralight fishing is super lame. <laughs> Online outdoors. You're the one. Dork. 